In this lesson, in our system, we will first install Node.js along with Node.js npm will also get installed. Second, we will install VS Code. Once the installation is done, we will move to either VS Code terminal or in the command line and would create a React app using npx create React app command. In certain cases, this command has some issues with npm. We will address that issue also. And finally, we would be running that sample React application from our system. Let's get started. First, search for download Node.js. Click on this website of nodejs.org. Here by default, it shows the package manager. We need the installer. So I need to click to this pre-built installer. Here, different versions are mentioned. I'm going to continue with the default version they are providing, which is 20.16.0. Clicking on this button, the download is in progress. It's completed. Let me go to the folder. So here I have the MSI file. Double click on this. Click next. Accept the agreement. Click next again. I'm keeping the installation location as is. Click next. Here it is showing the features that would be installed. I'm not changing anything. Click on next again. Finally, again click next. Click install. Installation is complete. Click on finish. Now I would go to command line and check the node and npm version. Node hyphen hyphen version. It's giving me the version. Similarly run npm hyphen hyphen version. NPM version is 10.8.1. So, Node.js setup is done. Now, we need to install VS Code. Same way, search for download VS Code. Press enter. As a search result, the first link whatever appears, code.visualstudio.com, then this download. Click over here. Here we have all three options for Windows, Linux and Mac. I'm going to download this user installer. Click on this x64. The download has started. It got finished also. Going to the folder. Double click on the exe showing a message this user installer is not meant to be run as an administrator that is fine click on ok accept the agreement click next here it is providing a location i want to put it in a custom directory let me provide that path so this is the folder where i want to keep vs code going back here change the path now click on next next again checking this first checkbox which is create a desktop icon click next install this installation would take a while. Once it is done, I'll resume the recording. So, installation is complete. I'll uncheck this. Click finish. Going back to desktop. This is our Visual Studio code. Now, here I have created one sample folder, React.js sample. Here we will create our project. So, this is the sample folder where I would be pointing VS Code into. Let me open VS Code. Maximize it. Close the welcome screen. I can open the folder by clicking on file and then open folder and then and then providing the path or what i can do i can just directly go here select this folder and drag it into vs code that also helps check this box trust the authors of all files yes i trust the authors now i can go to this location from command prompt and type the create react app command rather i would prefer to do it from vs code for that i can do one thing over here from view I can open the terminal. By default, it is opening PowerShell. We can change it to others. Now, let me try to run the command to create the React app. So, instead of PowerShell, I can use command prompt. Let me do that. Running the command npx create react app hello world. So, the problem that I was talking about here, you can see no such file or directory else that this. It seems this particular command, it is expecting this particular location see users vm admin app data roaming npm let's see what is there in this location i am in users let me change the view settings to see the hidden items here i am inside vm admin then app data then roaming i don't have anything like npm let me create that if i do that this issue would be gone created the folder back to vs code just do a clear screen and rerun that command now the react.js application is getting created in the meantime, while this is getting installed, it would take a while. Let's understand why that issue happened. I'll explain it to you very briefly within few seconds to have a clear understanding why that issue actually occurred. So, going back to the question which initially we had, right? Why this npx create react app with the application name command looks for the location this app data roaming npm? Simple reason is this create react app is an npm package. And this particular location npm is the directory for the globally installed npm packages. 
So if create react app is already globally installed, npx command will use that global installation. If it is not there, it would temporarily install the package and run it. So whenever we are running this npx create react app, it is going to look for that folder. In case it is not there, if we create a blank one, that should be sufficient. And that's exactly what we saw when we created a blank folder, the command started working. Let me go back to VS Code. Project creation is still in progress. I will pause the recording and once it is done, I'll resume. Now the React application is created and if we check the messages during the installation, it is suggesting us to go to that directory, hello world, and then type npm start to run this project. So let me do that. Click on allow access in case it appears. Now the application is running and it is getting loaded. So this is the default React app. So now if I go back to VS Code here and expand this directory, I can see the structure, node modules, public, source. This is the part where we actually add or modify the code. If I go to app.js, this is the section which is showing all these images and all. I can do one thing over here. I can just get rid of this section and add a custom code. Very simple one removed everything and I'm just adding one line code. So I have modified the existing code and added this one line. Let me save this and if I just go back to the browser, you can see the changes already reflecting without the page refresh. So to summarize what we did, we installed Node.js, we installed VS Code, we created a sample React.js app using npx create react app command. We faced a minor issue over there and solved it and finally we run the application and we made a very small modification just to see whether the things are working as expected or not. So that is all for this lesson.